I wanted to make this video as a update on the Uncle Ben's rice fiasco of 2015. Uh, if any of you guys watching this don't have a clue as to what I'm talking about, let me recap. Uh, I posted a video prior to this one, uh, a very short video um, about some creepy crawly critters that I found in a box of Uncle Ben's rice that I had purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I didn't post it to bash Dollar Tree or anything like that because I'm a diehard true blue Dollar tree -er, if that's a word. And um, I only put it on there because I was like taken aback. Like I've never had a problem with Dollar Tree food before. I've bought things that I personally didn't enjoy, but I've never had a bad experience with any of the food that I've bought. So I was very surprised um, when I opened up the, bag, the little box of rice and uh, weevils were crawling around in it. Uh, thanks to one of my viewers, I do know that the little critters are called weevils. <laughs> It's very common in rice and flour products, and I will put this out there. I have come across the same situation in uh, Mahatma rice out of large grocery store chains before. It's happened twice to me before, but uh, the only reason um, I put it on video and put it out there was because I know most of you guys are Dollar Tree shoppers as well, and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Once again, I was not bashing, nor will I ever bash my Dollar Tree or any Dollar Trees. Uh, a good bargain is a good bargain, but there was a little strange incident, uh, but it's all taken care of now. Um, I will continue to shop at Dollar Tree, which I did, and I got stuff to show y'all. Um, Stuff that I picked up when I went back to the store. Now, a lot of you guys on that other video commented, take it back and let management know. And I was already on it, guys. Uh, after I turned off video of the little critters, I put it in a gallon-sized bag, a little ziploc -y bag. And I went to the Dollar Tree, not for my dollar back or anything like that to raise a ruckus. I just wanted them to be aware. Y'all got a possible infestation going on here. So just heads up, you know. I don't want anybody to make the same creepy discovery. And I got the manager, came out from the back, and I showed him the box and how it was due to expire this month. And he saw the little creepy crawlies in the bag and all that. And he apologized over and over and over again. And we went to where the rice is. And he's pulling their rice. Um, Uncle Ben's bro broccoli rice au gratin was there. And he's pulling them, and there was a pretty good row of them. But the strange thing about these particular boxes was it had on the box the printed best if purchased by or best if used by, but no date. The box I had had the date stamped, January 2015. These had nothing on them, no date, no nothing. So he saw that, and he was like, oh, wow. Uh, they hadn't noticed that, so he pulled them all off the shelf. There were probably eight or ten boxes of them but he pulled them off the shelf and uh when i came home and i saw all your comments about uh go to management and all that i was like i was right there with y'all my fellow dollar treers uh because i didn't want any other um bargain hunters to come across it but that is the skinny on how i handled that situation and thanks for y'all's comments and um i hope i didn't make y'all gag and i certainly hope i didn't turn anyone against the dollar tree because that was not my intention um, like I said, I've never had a problem with anything from the Dollar Tree before, and I haven't had this issue only at Dollar Tree. I've had it two other times at big grocery chains, so no harm, no foul. It's all said and done. Uh, being the Dollar Tree devotee that I am, I walked around and found some stuff. Um, so I'm just going to jump into it. A lot of it is food because that day I was making lunch and I totally like lost my appetite, but after I'd been out there a while, I realized I'm hungry. And you know when you go shopping when you're hungry, you pick up stuff. So I picked up a pack of the Brims Premium Butter Flavor Popcorn. Uh, I usually buy the cheddar cheese one, but I've seen so many of you guys hauling this and saying if you nuke it for a few seconds in the microwave, it's like the awesomest thing short of sitting in a movie theater. So I went ahead and bought some. My little dude is looking at me. Caleb. <laughs> he wants to show you something that we picked up for him and he's kind of giving me the, the fish eye 
Come on, booger. So we picked up some brims. And he's aching to show you guys. Come here. What did we get? A towel. A towel? A show the picture. What is it? A Spider-Man. A Spider-Man towel? Mm -hmm. It's one of those little magic towels that as soon as you soak, they expand and you end up with a pretty cool little washcloth and um that's the second one that i bought for him i bought one for him a few weeks ago and it it somehow didn't make it into the bag but y'all have seen these if you have kids you guys have seen this or if you just like comics you guys have seen this you want to hold it Okey dokey. um he's been wanting to do that uh, these these are the things that i picked up the day of the rice incident so what Monday? I, I can't I can't remember. I picked up two cans or one can. I don't know. No, nope, two cans of the Libby's sliced mango. Uh they have a different brand of mango that I really, really enjoyed. The Libby's I think is a little more tart, but I still think it's an awesome deal for um ninety-nine cents. So I got some mangoes for smoothies. I picked up two more of the Libby's Chunk Pineapple. I can eat these with a little whipped cream on top, and I'm a happy, lucky girl, let me tell you. And then another can of the Peach Slices in Light Syrup. Um, picked up, sorry guys, picked up another of the Lance Peanut Packages. I'm making a lot of noise. And then I went on to more interesting things. Well, well not really. Uh, I was running out of Dawn, so I picked up another one. This is all I use. The smell reminds me of my grandma. Some of you may have heard me say that before when the sink is full of hot, soapy water, and it's just this scent reminds me, takes me back to my grandma's kitchen. And then I uh, got one of these little blue spray bottles because um, little dude on some mornings likes to have his hair styled, and I always spray it before I do the gel in it and the bottle that i have is really really huge so i just figured something small and personal for him and then i have the nerve to buy more books guys mothers and daughters it sounded interesting when i was there i honestly can't remember what it's about now but for a book mothers and daughters I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I have a mommy. It sounded interesting. Y'all want info on it? Leave me a comment. I will definitely give y'all any infos, yeah or nay, or book review. We can do an Oprah type book club on here on Dollar Tree Books if y'all are interested at all. And then this one called The Almost Moon, and you guys, y'all need to see the stack of books that I have from the Dollar Tree that I'm slowly working my way down. But oh my gosh. I'm a book addict. And then I don't need another picture frame any more than I need a friggin' hole in my head. But look at this. Isn't that pretty? And it has a raised cross. The cross is raised. It's metal. And I love crosses. And it's this brown color. Uh, it is so everything that makes me happy in life. I just, I absolutely loved it. Loved it. I couldn't leave it. I had, I wish that they had more styles because the only ones that i saw were the ones with the cross and these particular words on it but it's gorgeous can you all see the awesomeness of it all so pretty and for a dollar i thought that kind of detail for a book was amazing but okay yeah i'm up to my eyeballs and stuff but that is what i picked up at the dollar tree after um i let management know about the thing then I made my way over to 99 cent only because um, I was there and I hit the mother load on food. I picked up this, this is 99 cent only, did I say that? I picked up this bag of shredded cabbage because I am going to make pozole in the next few days. It's supposed to get rainy and cold again. So um, I want to have some warm, squishy, good comfort food and uh you garnish pozole with cabbage and uh, chopped up radish and for those of you that don't know what pozole is it's basically a hominy soup you can either make it with pork or chicken i love both but i prefer the pork and that's what i'm gonna make 
I picked up another one of these awesome little bags of spinach. This cooks down to probably that much, so I usually buy like three or four of them. But I'm going to use this fresh either in a smoothie or just in a salad. Yeah, I'm trying these green smoothies. I'm all about the fruit ones, okay? I can totally do a fruit smoothie, but the green ones, not so much. Um, I think it's a psychological thing. I'm not sure, but I'm trying to incorporate green smoothies into my whole smoothie regime. Um, it's not for weight loss or anything. It's just because I wanted a Nutribullet and I got one for Christmas and I love the whirring and swirling of it all. And I love smoothie, sweet ones, you know, but I figured, let me try the green one. So blah, blah, blah. that's what the spinach is for. I found these for a book. I thought this was awesome. It's just the original Jell-O chocolate pudding. Couldn't believe it for 99 cents. I mean, they're pretty cheap anyway, like two fifty at Walmart, but a book. Oh yeah grab that and anyway i can get some calcium in my kids is amazing because they're not big milk drinkers i picked up this captain crunch as y'all can tell mind y'all i got this stuff a day ago they've already dug into it uh, i have to ask my oldest if he liked it it smells really good it's a cinnamon roll crunch i've never seen it before at a grocery store but it smells awesome and my oldest seems to have enjoyed it because a lot of it is gone I picked up some uh, little Dutch made vanilla wafers. I bought two boxes actually, but I've already used one because I made vanilla pudding uh, this afternoon and I'm waiting for it to be all soft and set and squishy because, oh my gosh, you've never seen a household so happy as this one is when there is banana pudding in it. It's amazing. I picked up another one of these uh, Old Peak Teas, lemon flavored. Uh, I was going to do the green tea one. I'm not a real big fan of this. I'm from Texas. Okay, sweet tea capital of the world. Some folks in Georgia, Hotlanta uh, might disagree. But we do strong, sweet tea. This tea is awesome with the lemon flavoring and the sweetness of it all, but it's kind of weak. It's almost as if though your ice cubes watered it down a bit, but it's still pretty good for, for a bottle tea. And I haven't come across any bottle tea that I like. This one is pretty good. It it, 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 it tastes more lemonade-y than tea. But hey, it's okay. I finally found these again. These are um, Gamesa brand Florentinas. They're these little biscuits with this chewy um strawberry filling if you guys ever have you guys ever eaten the thumbprint ones i can't remember the brand of them it's these little thumbprint cookies and 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 they have this little raspberry jelly in them they come in these little bags uh very popular um that little filling that little raspberry filling the texture and chewiness and sweetness of it is exactly what the strawberry filling is in these i found these at the 99 cent only months ago and could not find them again i love these this is one of my favorite cookies with some friggin tea or coffee but i refuse to pay three dollars and something at the grocery store for them so when i found them for 99 cents found it there was only one i grabbed it and i'm trying to eat them slowly and enjoy them because these little suckers are addictive. They come four to a sleeve. Mm -mm. Like by the second one, I'm, I'm done. Like very satisfied, but I go on to the third and then I figure, well, there's only one in there left. So I eat that one too. They're dangerous. And then the last food item, I think it's the last food item I picked up, were these Tresso Dore, I don't know. I know is some kind of foreign language. Tresodore, fine Belgian flavor chocolates, but they're shaped in seashells. Okay. This is the shape of them. Can y'all see the awesomeness in there? You know what, guys? I've had them for a couple of days and I've been tempted to try them. And I don't have enough items to do one of my taste tests. But I am dying to see what the shape of these little candies is. I am obsessed with seashells. Considering I was drowned when I was 11 in the Gulf of Mexico, you would think I wouldn't want anything to do with anything sea-like, but I eat anything that swims around in it, and the sounds of it, and the shells that come out of it. I'm just, I don't know what it is, but I love seashells. Look at that. They smell okay. I smell more of the plastic that they're setting in. Aren't they pretty? I almost don't want to eat these. 
Look at that. Little clamshell. That is too cute. Oh, wow. Very soft, very smooth, already melting in my hands. Um, you want to try one? Mm, there's goodies inside. What did he say, Phil? Mm. Very smooth. Very mild. Not very sweet. Not annoyingly overpoweringly sweet. You don't get an all chocolate taste because of the white chocolate in there. But they're good. Very mild. They were just so pretty. I had to grab them. Once again, well, now I've left a little raggedy chewed one in there. But that's what they look like if you guys are interested. And it was so pretty, I had to get them. That's all the food stuff. I found a 24 pack of Crayolas for 99 cents. Really awesome. Grab those. I picked up a pack of the gallon size zipper seals and the only reason I did that was because I was going to make fried chicken today, which I did, and I do my season. That's a radish. Radish? I was eating them yesterday. Mm, I think you've tried them. You don't like them. Sorry. Um, I fried chicken and I don't like to do the whole um egg wash and flour in bowls and stuff because i'm so 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 scared of cross-contamination of chicken my whole household got sick off of bad chicken practices <laughs> like three years ago and i have never gotten over that so i am very very careful as far as how many things i touch when i'm dealing with raw chicken so i do my egg wash in a bowl because uh, i tried to do it in a bag and it was horrendously messy but I do my egg wash in a bowl and then my seasoned flour in this and I shake the heck out of it. Um, if y'all are even interested in that. But I, I needed those because I was going to fry chicken today, which I did. Fried chicken, sweet lemon tea. Not this one. I made my own. And uh, got banana pudding in there waiting to be devoured here very soon. Uh, the last couple things I picked up were two of the Crest 3D Whites, which I thought was awesome for 99 cents. I have not seen these at my 99 cent only or at my Dollar Tree for 99 cents. So, yep, I grabbed two of those. And then I picked up a Daily Defense 3-in-1 for a man. My son has a kind of sensitive skin. What? You can use it, but it's for Michael. He's asking. Uh, he kind of has sensitive skin. We all do. Uh, and some body washes are just messing with him. I bought this in a pinch once because he was out and I didn't want to go to Walmart or whatever. He really liked it. So I bought him another one of these. When he ran out of that one, I went back to the 99 cent only and I couldn't find any more of that. That ever happened? I know what happens to y'all. Y'all find something at the Dollar Tree or more particular in the 99 cent only store. You fall in love with it, whether it's a beauty product or food. And then you go back and it's not there anymore. That is so frustrating to me. I mean, you don't want to buy more than one when you come across something new because even if it is just a dollar, if you don't like it, you have this leftover something that you didn't like. But then you fall in love with it and go back and there's no more. So that's what happened with this one. He ran out before. I went back and I couldn't find any. So I bought him the VO5 men's three in one the one i bought him prior was the blue one which i think smells better this one seems a, smells a little more astringent astringent it has more of a medicinal smell to it it smells good but it's a little medicinal uh but he liked the blue one the blue one did very well with his skin he told me yesterday mom i need more body wash can you get the blue one hey better for me save me some money right i go back to the 99 cent only no blue but there were rows and rows of the green one. So I called him and asked him, you want to try the green one? Describe the scent to him. He said, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So I bought two. He likes it. He used it this morning. He used it last night. He used it this morning and he likes it. How much you want to bet when I go back for some more, they're not going to be anymore. I hope that's not the case because some of that stuff for like sensitive skin even at walmart gets ridiculously expensive so i'm hoping that um 
Pancetta. They keep these in stock or hopefully bring back the blue one. The scent is my thing. My son likes the scent of them both. I just particularly like the blue one. OCD. I'm not sure. But anywho, that is everything I bought. Um, I'm going to put this stuff away and dig into our banana pudding. So until my next go around, thanks for watching. I'll have a good evening. Bye. Good night.